Good afternoon. In case we haven't had the opportunity to meet you on an individual basis, I'm Michelle Garza and my husband Raymond Garza. We're from San Antonio. We're the family branch coordinators. Um, in talking about our home shrine, I'd like to give you a little bit of history about our home shrine because our home shrine is actually has been passed down from my grandmother, um, who I love, loved and adored. She is in heaven now. But she passed her home shrine picture to us. Out of all her grandchildren, she chose us to give it to. And we passed out the um, father eye to one of my sisters, the crown to one of my other sisters, and the unity cross that she passed to us, we gave to my parents. So because it has a lot of meaning to us, it, it, to us it's a great reflection of how we pass on that jubilee that we're celebrating this year from 100 years. It goes from generation to generation. So that to us is a perfect example of how the love of the Blessed Mother was passed from my grandmother down to us through our home shrine. Um, ever since our home shrine, oh, let me give you also the name of our home shrine. We dedicated our home shrine when we lived in Corpus Christi in 2000, the summer of 2000, and our shrine's name is the Shrine of Guidance and Faith. At that time, we were younger. <laughs> Much. Much. <laughs> so at that time, we had just started our family. And our oldest, who is now 20, she was five. So um, we were such a young family that we felt this was the perfect title for our home shrine because we needed a lot of guidance and we needed faith to take that guidance that we were given from the Blessed Mother to take that and have the faith to do whatever it is she wanted us to do. Come to find out, we became the coordinators of San Antonio. <laughs> Little did we know. Um, so it, as funny as it sounds, our, our home shrine really is a legacy home shrine coming from Michelle's grandmother down to us and possibly someday down to one of our other daughters. Um, our home shrine since our dedication has been the center of our family's faith. Uh, a lot of the activities that we do faith-based activities that we do at home are centered around the shrine. For those of you that may or may not have been to our house, our home shrine is in our dining room. So many times our nightly dinners are with Blessed Mother. We've made it a habit to say our night prayers with our four-year-old in our home shrine. Um, we even have family discussions um, and with teenagers, you, you know there's plenty of those that have to happen uh, in our home shrine and our daughters have grown to appreciate that and many times they have come to us and say, mom, dad, can we talk about something and we go to the shrine. They automatically know that and it's amazing to think that they have learned that from us. Uh, and not only have they learned that from us, they are picking up habits that they are taking forward uh, as Michelle said, our, our oldest, Nicole, is, is 20. She's off in college at, at ACU. And I have to share this because it's probably something I'm going to remember forever. Um, ACU is, is a Christian university, but not Catholic. So she's missed that Catholic aspect of her faith. She has a small home shrine in, in her apartment, but she hasn't had that interaction, that conversation around her faith. I usually call her about twice a week when I'm driving home from work. This Thursday, she told me that they had a, a Catholic group. Uh, there's a group that meets at the university um, that was going to meet that night, and the topic for that discussion was Mary. She said, Dad, I'm so excited about this. I've missed that. That's something I'm going to remember forever. Uh, and it's something that we can say that she has learned from us and from our home shrine. Um, she was excited about this meeting. She wanted to go and talk about Mary to the other students at the university. Uh, and that's amazing to think from a 20-year-old that she wants to do that. Uh, in closing, I, I've got to think about something that Bishop said this morning. He said, Chariz, or Chariz, 
my gosh, I'm sorry. Um, a charism is something that you don't shelter. It's something that you share. Uh, and that, those words struck a chord with me because that's what we do with our home shrine. We don't shelter it. We use the home shrine as a basis to share our faith, our church that faith with those that we know. It's become a place that we pray for others, for ourselves, for the movement. Um, there's been many times that someone will call us and say, can you pray for me for this? And they know our response is going to be, we'll take, we'll, we'll take that to, to our home shrine and definitely pray for you. So to, to Bishop's comment, that the home shrine is a way that we share our faith and we take it out to, to those that we meet. Um, and actually, in retrospect, that's kind of a way that we live our covenant for this year. Uh, her covenant is our mission, and that is one way that we take it out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.